I think we need all three of them as a city. Uh, they are all three vitally important. Uh, as my time as mayor for the last year or so, it's been, and as well as with my uh, time on city council over the past six years, we've always had a situation in Seguin where we've had a lot of uh, professional people who would love to, to move here that would like to settle here, but there, for some reason or another, the, the quality of life issues in Seguin have not been here for them to come and settle. I think so it's vitally important for us to have these improvements with the schools, with the parks, and with the, uh, the library to help bring these, these, these great uh, management level educated people into Seguin and to uh, help uh, enrich our culture here in Seguin. I think it's vitally important. But most important is the fact that these are going to add such a, a great amount of uh, benefit to the people who are already here. As far as the library goes, I think uh, the facilities are well past due as far as being replaced. They are much too small. There is virtually no parking uh, for, for the most part if there is a large group. And uh, we need to, uh, to up upgrade those facilities. Uh, and libraries these days are not the traditional paper warehouses that, that uh, or the, the, the quiet, hushed study rooms of, of, of traditional libraries in the past. They are community gathering places. They are uh, cultural gathering places. They are places where you can um, bring your children and interact as a family and do so many important things to, to help educate the, the population as a whole. And what's really great about the parks and the library is that they will all be tied together along the linear park along Walnut Branch. There will be a 14-foot wide hike and bike trail all the way from uh, Farm Road 78 on the north end all the way through the Herman Park area down into downtown into the library through Walnut Springs Park all the way to behind St. James Church on Convent Street. So all that will be interlinked. And so people could easily walk, bike, skateboard, all that, that way to get to downtown. I think uh, it, it's also going to be an advantage for TLU uh, students. They can get on that, on that path with their skateboards, with their bikes, and safely get to downtown. I think uh, riding a bicycle into downtown on our main thoroughfares is uh, quite a task. That can be uh, dangerous at times, and I think this will uh, give them some uh, good transportation options to get to downtown, as well as to get to the parks, and to get to the, the libraries, and, and, and all the various things that we're going to be having downtown. So I think that's all vitally important. I came to Seguin in 1974, and I've seen this town grow but I am so excited about the possibilities that these bonds are going to bring to Seguin. Uh, we live close to the library and it's a wonderful library, but the plans for the new improved library are outstanding. And in the proximity with Walnut Springs Park, it's just going to be a gorgeous spot right there in downtown, the heart of Seguin. The uh, new park idea just answers so many questions for families as to what can we do Let's go to the Herman Park and let's cool off and let's bike and let's skateboard and let's play together and then walk on downtown. It'll be great to connect the west side to the downtown area. The schools, I was a teacher here for 29 years. I'm now retired, but the high school needs improvement. And uh, I'm now seeing many of the children that I taught that have graduated from the current high school. They have that good as gold education and they've gone on, I'd love to see some of them to return to Seguin and raise their families. And I think that with the new high school, they might consider such. They'll have a wonderful park, they'll have a wonderful library, they can come back to their roots and raise their families. So it's just all good. Seguin deserves this.